today that goes uh, takes me up by uh, Barry's Landing. Kind of like you're going over to the uh, Devil's Canyon Overlook. Over the summer months, we got to go all the way to the Horseshoe Bend and then Barry's Landing up that way. <coughs> going that far today we're just going to be going right there at the entrance of uh, the Big Horn Canyon and uh, the turn off there for uh, Horseshoe Bend I'm just going to be doing some pickups so I know this truck is loud and noisy so want to see what the scenery looks like uh, really overcast today but we're going to be heading towards the Briar Mountains see what we get enjoy the ride thanks for uh, checking it out I'll be back Uh, oh, I don't know, 
15 miles north east of Lovell. By way of the crow flies, this will take you straight to Billings, Montana, about 70 miles by way of the crow flies. You can't really do that. You gotta go back down into Lovell and through Collie and Beaver and Brandy that way around. Plus you got a big four-wheel drive and you want to head over the mountain. <laughs> Which people do at times. It's a wild Mustang refuge up here in the Pryor Mountains. I think it's the first wild Mustang refuge in the United States. I, I believe. I may be wrong in that. I'll have to look into that. station and right here on the right if you take this this will take you down the horseshoe bend boat tours boat docks camping sites whatnot and we got a little place here we're gonna go out to on the left I'll dump their camp we'll come back out and go down the crooked creek and go that way go up here about two miles this is where the uh, wild mustangs refuge is we won't be going up there today but we're not very far from it all 
right, we gotta go right here. Once I go on somebody's property, I turn the camera off. You know, it's their property, right? So I'll be back. Okay. Well, we got that one taken care of. Let me see here. Yeah, now we're going to go back here. A while back, I posted a couple pictures on Facebook there of uh, a wood sculpture that somebody had carved with a chainsaw at one of the ranches up here and that's where we're going to be going I, I actually met the lady up here that owns the ranch and she trains horses very nice lady and she gave me a little bit of the story Oh boy, here's them, here's them BLM protesters again. Man, get off the road now. Come on now. <laughs> uh, you don't want to hit one of them because if you do, you're going to buy it. Open range here. Alright. Made it out of there safe. Woo! Anyhow, uh, her name is Lou, she's from Boston, and she's been out here for many years. Got her start trading horses out here, I think around Cody and Casper, she was telling me. And uh, that's what she does now. And she was telling me that that uh, sculpture there, it was carved out of wood, a fellow from Alaska came down and did that. Took them a couple weeks and they did it with a chainsaw. So we're going to be headed into that ranch here in a little bit off of Crooked Creek. I'll get more coverage of this here come spring, summertime. But I'm still doing this. Yeah. Once we start going further up there. Horse range. Five miles. The administrative site. 